This is sweet. Where have you been hiding this gem? We've had it, man. Yeah, but why haven't we had it? Oh no, you've been invited. No way. If I'd have known about this place, I'd have made the trip. We're here now. Not for long. Okay, so before we end up losing consciousness, we should probably go over some rules. One, let's keep this place relatively clean. I know we're usually pretty good, let's just make a point. Two, be careful around the water out there. It's probably nearly frozen this time of year. The theme there being don't die. Three, make sure all the doors are locked. I got a lockbox out front, I know the code. We keep it simple, have a pretty solid weekend otherwise. Hopefully better than last. Dude, you didn't come all this way to hold a grudge. I'm paying for last weekend already. Let this one play out. Everything will be back to normal. All right, all right. All right. Yeah, I'm, I'm good. Well, I propose a toast. To an enjoyable weekend at the cabin, memories made, but definitely not remembered. And an astonishing lack of female presence. Yep, <laughs> because this is a boys weekend, and if they had to spend that long a time in close quarters with Griff, I doubt we'd have too many friends left. <laughs> Salute! My buddies, Ken Griff. Howdy. How you doing? It's been a while. The old man coming up? Uh, no, no, not this weekend. Just us guys hanging. Oh, right. First time for you fellas? Yeah, yeah, yeah. first time. Ah, something else, isn't it? Yeah, you know, I've been trying to tell him. Yeah, well, listen, I saw the car, and I was wondering if I could borrow a couple batteries from your old man. Hmm. I'm not too sure we've got any. No, 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 we you have some. You have some up here on the shelf. I'll go grab it. So, you guys gonna do some sightseeing or are you gonna uh, settle in for a little <laughs> relaxation? Yeah, you know, hoping for a little bit of both. I love it up here this time of year, so probably go show them a little bit of the sights. Far away sights? Close by sights? Not too sure yet. I think we're just gonna play it by ear, see how the see how the weekend goes. All right. Well, uh, don't want to hold up too much more of your time. Get out of your way. Hope you guys enjoy yourselves and uh, welcome to the Berkshires. That was a little weird, right? A lot of weird. So. I was doing some Googling, and Berkshire County has all kinds of haunted spots. Oh, yeah? Yep. Like, completely accessible, proven supernatural activity. The New Boston Inn is a motel that has what they prefer to call a friendly spirit. I'll believe that when I see it. Which we can. Just saying. And the Tanglewood Estates, it has two haunted houses on the grounds. And Buckdeep Manor. People say if you drive on it during, like, some really remote time of year, like winter or something, they say you have the strangest feeling like you're being watched. And they're probably right, because there's a monk that walks around. Well, the spirit of a monk. How insane is that? A monk? I say we do that as our day trip tomorrow. Yeah, no, it's a bygone area. Rural backcountry type feel. Need one? Oh, yeah. It's different up here from the city. You know, the air, Scenery? The people? Yeah, maybe they're a bit eccentric. Yeah, what's up with your neighbor? He seems like chief full of bullshit. Gary? Nah, he's just super friendly. Dude wouldn't hurt a fly. I mean, maybe he's a little bit peculiar, but he's a huge help to my dad when we're not around here. Keeps an eye on the place. I think he keeps an eye in it, but what do I know? What's the issue? Was he not nice enough earlier? He was very nice. It's just a feeling I got. All right, so he's backcountry with a little bit of culture. How many ways can we say the guy's bizarre? Okay, okay. He's bizarre. Just saying. Couple that with a little Ghostbuster over here, and you've got one creepy little bedtime story of a place.
looking at me, dude. Griff. He was staring right at me, man. Laser stare. Is this guy serious? It's almost midnight. Maybe he needs help. screamed in here. No? I heard a scream. You didn't. My apologies. Very presumptuous of me. Well, you gentlemen enjoy your evening. If you need anything, I'll be next door. See you, Lance. we Will do, Gary. about time for a night job. Did you guys end up using the key box? You never gave us the code. No, it was probably just me. Do you think I pose a phone? Sure. Photo. goes underground. The wire comes out on the other side, Lance. The guy's splicing your cable, amongst other things, I'm sure. Why are you writing me off? You're obsessing. I'm trying to have a relaxing weekend. Obsessing? Dude, come on. Have you forgotten what happened like 12 hours ago? Yeah, I remember. I think maybe we got a little drunk and let our imaginations run some wild. Are time. you? Easy. Mr. Weird over there wasn't messing with us. Then what was, huh? This place. The cabin, the lake, the town. Guys, seriously. Does anyone listen to me? I told you last night, this place has a not so pleasant history. You know what they say about ghosts and spirits and shit? They're tormented souls that can't pass on to the afterlife. Well, this place is the friggin' holy grail of tormented colonials. All the sad and weird death and suicide, so much proclaiming and hanging, it's concerning! Kill self, stuck between this life and the next, probably pissed about that. The next resort is to fuck up everyone else's day. Hence last night. What the hell are you talking about? Morning, fellas! Jesus, Gary! You scared the crap out of me. Seems to be a trend. Settling in? Yeah, I took him to see some sights. Another trip planned later. Decent start. Ah, great, great. Yep. This place has got a spirit of its own. All the people here make it a real treat, don't they? If you're not from around here, that seems a bit peculiar. But that's what makes this place special. It's what keeps all these people here for generations. I think I heard it best put. Nobody in? Nobody out. Well, uh, we gotta get going, Gary. But we'll see you later. I'm sure. All right, hey, guys, listen. And if you need directions anywhere, you're gonna go to the mall, Buck's Deep, just let me know. I'll write them down for you. It's haunted. Wait, what? You heard.
heard them. This place has a spirit of its own, with an emphasis on spirit. And he mentioned Buckstep. Yeah, he mentioned Buckstep, which you brought up last night indoors on that couch. What the hell is that? This can't just be some big coincidence. The guy's eavesdropping on us. And what's up with that no one in, no one out bullshit? It's a lie. It's like being an island. Stop defending him, Lance, for God's sakes. The guy's a fucking weirdo, and he's absolutely up to something. He's made this whole situation uncomfortable. Lance, you can't tell us this doesn't seem a little strange. I'll tell you two what I think is strange. It's that you're nitpicking little idiosyncrasies of a person you've never met. You're making huge accusations about their character or about their community. It's arrogant. I'm leaving then. You can go, I drove you. Well, I'll get an Uber. Please, man, they don't have Uber up here. Well, that's just perfect, isn't it? He's harmless. I know, I know. He's definitely been more than usual. Just the way people are up there, man. Mountain-type lifestyle, very slow pace, communal attitude sometimes. Does he have a key to the key box? No, definitely not. Why, is it gone? No, nah, it's nothing. I mean, I, I put the number at a certain one every couple times, and uh, it's been changed. The boys? No, they've been with me. That is a little odd. It's probably nothing. To be honest, it's been a little bit rough. Oh, well, Grandpa thinks he came in and stole his new drill last summer. And... did he? I don't know. I just bought him a new one. Listen, dude, I can't be up there all the time, so he looks after the place. And he's very helpful whenever me and Gramps are doing something. I mean, you know, I kind of let that outweigh his weird traits, you know? Yeah, I guess. So, by the way, did you put a splitter on the cable box? No. Okay. Just curious is all. Hey man, why is the door like that? I think Gary's getting to Ken. Okay. Just talked to my dad. He said he talked to Gary. Everything's all sorted out. No. Hey, I talked to my dad. He said there's nothing to worry about. I've invited some of the guys. They should be here soon. Why would you do that? Because this weekend's about relaxing, and I've yet to. What are you talking about? You just don't get it, do you? It's not what you do that makes you an asshole. It's how you do it. You're all about being in control, no matter how self-righteous you sound. No one else is coming here. Look at you. Can't even defend yourself. Only worried about running the show. Coward. What'd you just call me? You heard me. Coward. Son of a... I'm sorry to bother you. My car's struggling. I don't know where I am. I saw your light on. Would you please be able to help me? Jesus, I'm sorry. Uh... Cody, Cody. Yeah, hi, hi. Cody, look. Have you seen anyone else out here? Me? No, 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 no. no. It's just me. It's just me out here. It's just me. Okay. Let me get my coat. 
thank you so much. I'm just this way. No, no, it's fine. I thought you were someone else. So Connecticut, huh? Excuse me? Your license plate. Oh, yeah. Who's south in here? How about you? It seems a little out of your waiting. I lost. Yeah. Yeah. What the fuck was that? No, I'm good, man. What the hell did Gary want? That wasn't Gary. It wasn't Gary. Who the hell was it? Well, it's just up here. Where? R -r right up here. That car? No, that one's Gary's. Guys? No, no. Please. Just don't move! Good God, what have you done?
Yeah, we probably shovel this, huh? You could. Uh, I mean, once you get down the stairs, that might not be that deep. But... Yeah, that's a good call. We should actually grab those for the, in the first place. Right. We're needing for dairy. Dairy cheese. The Berkshires. One of our main stars hobbling, sprained his ankle. There's his boot. Yep. Yeah, like, you know, he should probably just go through the front door. And Uncle John, I'm thinking like your head down, kind of like, so here. Here, come here, switch spots with me so you can see what I'm talking about. Obviously, you're a better actor than I am, but stay right there. So I'm thinking you come out of the kitchen, you're kind of like, so, what do you guys got planned? You, uh, something like that. And they're going to be like, what the, like, on the fucking place? Like that. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. This is 2R. Uh, we're going to do it after you. Well, Price, hard at work. Shop. I'll get, like, coming in on you. Well, let's get some thoughts from the director. Uh, on him. That's Joe. He likes doing community theater. He doesn't need good actors. As long as you're directing it right, it's not. Yeah. Uh, Thanks for the inside stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Dummy. I'm just kidding. <laughs> let's, get, let's get some thoughts on the director. Oh, there's Dale. Ah! I think it's going He's great. So I think we're getting some great <laughs> shots. Uh, everybody's playing a role, which is most important. Everyone's playing a big role. Everyone's learning here. Uh, Everyone's Sh learning. Schmass is cotton bagels. Goddamn right. I need a damn bagel. I was gonna say, I'm sorry. Yeah. Charger yeah. Box, we're just that for a session. Don't nice. Let's fucking do this. Listen, Listen, he splices the table, he does all that shit, but he's never done anything overtly. What do you got going on in here, Steffi? Two donuts, coffee. Um, yeah, he's your second donut? Why don't you just fucking change his name? Because you could call it that. I tried. At first it was Marty. Yeah, it was Marty. <laughs> Shit around it. I did Gary. Well, Gary I feel like Big Steph. Just enjoying some Duncan. <laughs> Dunking on these. Yeah, like, yeah, what? Oh. Don't, don't Gary, we'll fix that one in post. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say <laughs> on camera. <laughs> yeah. So, so basically you and Rick. Say something for uh, Joe's so behind the scenes. Yeah. That's one of your first goals, you know, like, the um, scenes is just establishing uh, man, something to relate to, something to, uh, even complain or make for, a note of. Really. Even if it's a, if it's um, a, uh, bill, somebody to root for. Do you wish there was a but, show. Well, you think the character is really close to it. That's what it really is. I, uh, I have to, I have to pick that up. Co-producer. The fuck? <laughs> fuck! Oh, my! Oh, God. So raunchy. Oh, Scott just posted. Dude, John. that looks like a gun oh. wound. Oh. Like on the Wait, other side, it's fine. Find your mouth. Oh, Wait, move. Mad uh, factory, man. Look at the, look at the toes. Yow. Oh, Yowzes. Mad factory's out here killing it. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Oh, God, that is disgusting. Pimpin' easy. Whoa, okay. Yeah, it's gonna be messy outside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it? It's gonna oh, taste good. Got a young Let John like... putting some blood on This is from the fight with Kent, right? Yeah. Well, when you yeah, murder him. Huh? Oh, yeah, the splatter, that's right. Oh, yeah, fuck you yeah. get blood splatter. Like... I get on my face. Yeah, okay. yeah. Scene 8A, take 2. I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. I don't don't know where I am. My car is struggling. Oh, fuck, I'm looking right at the camera. Go back. Right. I just know camera roll. Camera's rolling. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Scene 3G, take one. Clap. Take two. Clap. Take three. Clap. Scene 3G, take four. Scene three G take five. Clap. Yep. Scene three G take six. Clap. A take four. Action. Hey man, what's the door like that? I think Gary's no, getting the camera. What is buddy tired? Hired me to hold a blanket up against the Fuck you. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what happened? Just press answer, then. Oh. <laughs> 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 Fucking God. What the fuck is going on? I'll fuck my uncle. Just wrapped up day two. It's three in the morning.
Damn, you sleep like a little bitch. Day two, wrap. 313 a.m. Let's go. Yeah. Done it. Screw. We does this shit. And Schmess drove all the way back. Schmess came. He left. He left this afternoon and came back. Going for seven hours. Not even. Came back. Smells like this. All right. 3:15 a.m. Yeah. Where are your kids?